Man United's European crusade continues. Liga MX witches, Faustino Espria tweets, Classico emojis and Bentner's new nickname. It's Friday, April 21st. My name is Ryan Bailey and I welcome every single one of you to the Goldmouth podcast, even Chelsea fans. That's how inclusive and friendly I'm feeling today. All right, let's get straight to business with our top story. We kick off with the ginger stepchild of European competitions, the Europa League. Manchester United are into the final four of the competition, but they made a bit of a meal out of it, needing extra time at Old Trafford to see off Underlecht. It was another brilliant performance from Marcus Rashford, but a bad night for the mighty Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who coupled a pretty poor game with a troubling-looking injury. By the time you listen to this, the draw will already have happened, and you'll know which team United will massively struggle against in the next round. Big American soccer news now. If you thought Christian Pulisic was the only American on the books at Borussia Dortmund, you'd be right. But soon, that might just change. According to German tabloid Bild, Wood has a 12 million euro release clause at Hamburg, which would go down to just 5 million euros if the team are relegated. And Hamburg are currently doing their annual dance around the relegation zone, so there might be a bargain to be had, and Borussia Dortmund are reported to be one of those interested parties. Details are a bit sparse right now, but keep an eye on this one. Next up, some more very important North American news, but from south of the border in Liga MX. After winning the CONCACAF Champions League in 2014, Cruz Azul find themselves languishing in 15th place in the Clausura phase, having finished 14th in the Apertura. Something is wrong with the club, and they've taken action. Have they hired a new manager? Changed up the team a little, burned ketchup from the canteen? Nope, a much more sensible solution to their woes has been unwittingly bestowed upon them. A witch has paid them a visit. Yes, a witch. It's a sorceress named Zulema. She arrived at the Estadio Azul earlier this week armed with a pig's head, some coconuts, four candles and a couple of bottles of booze. That sounds like a fun night out where I'm from, but those were the tools required to purge Cruz Azul of the curse that's been making them play less well than usual. No one paid me, I came for me, said Zulema. I wanted to show that witchcraft exists for things both good and bad. She insisted that her spell would be enough to help the team beat Chivas this weekend, but that she'd need full access to the team and staff to help them win the league title. Now, this isn't the only time that witchcraft has crossed paths with the beautiful game. Derby, Birmingham, Leeds and Southampton have all hired shamans and witches to clear curses at their stadiums, while Liverpool have been cursed with having Alberto Moreno in their squad for several seasons now. Faustino Espria Twitter controversy update now. The former Newcastle legend and slightly unhinged Colombian striker caused a stir this week when he tweeted some unfavourable words in the direction of Real Madrid following their controversial Champions League win over Bayern Munich. No more robberies, a team of rats, he wrote shortly after the game, but he soon backtracked, insisting that he'd been hacked even though he hasn't actually deleted the offending tweet yet. Hmm. Espria then claimed he was hacked by none other than Gerard Piquet, no doubt a cheeky joke playing on Mr Shakira's well-renowned love for Los Blancos. Way to stay relevant, Faustino. All right, you're almost certainly aware it's the Classico tomorrow. Barcelona have the opportunity to go even on points with their fiercest rivals at the top of La Liga, with the only thing standing against them being a mighty informed Real Madrid team and the fact they can't defend very well at the moment. But this edition of the rivalry is set to be extra special as Twitter has released nine new emojis, especially for the game, that will pop up when you type in certain hashtags. Hashtag Messi, hashtag Cristiano, hashtag Benzema, hashtag Suarez, hashtag Pique and hashtag Ramos will all bring up cartoonish likelinesses of the players in question. Meanwhile, hashtag Bale and hashtag Neymar will bring up nothing except resentment in those two players. These Twitter emoji hashtags are all going to end very well. After all, it went swimmingly when they first tried it with Paul Pogba at that Man United-Liverpool game, didn't it? Didn't it? And finally, for this edition and this week, some very important news from Norway. Niklas Benner is doing pretty well with his new club, Rosenborg, having netted twice in four appearances. So he's one goal away from the total tally he managed in a season at Nottingham Forest. Now, whenever the former Arsenal Super Duper star posts on social media, you'll notice that thousands of people instantly reply with the word Lord, his highly gratifying nickname from the past few seasons. But there's been a bit of an issue at Rosenborg as his colleague Mushaga Bakenga already uses the name Lord. So now the world's greatest living striker, according to Nicholas Bentner, has a new nickname, the Emperor. 
Now, I'm pretty sure an emperor is more powerful than a lord, unless it's a star lord, of course, but it seems like a decent upgrade. I now look forward to seeing more of Bentner's famous fashion choices on Instagram so that we may see the emperor's new clothing. Ah, oh, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you. All right, gang, that's it for the goal mouth today. Stay in school, be excellent to one another, continue to pour scorn on MK Dons like all good soccer fans should, and please leave us a lovely review on iTunes. Just like user I don't even like cats did when he said, I love you guys so much. Oh, thank you very much. I don't even like cats. I don't even like cats either. They're rubbish. You can read more about all of today's stories in the Goldmouth email. Link is in the show notes. Brooks Peck is back with you on Monday, and I leave you with today's Goldmouth top tip. Hiring a witch to fix the sitch on your pitch is a little bit kitsch. Love to your mothers. See you next time.